Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I have some really cool tricks to show you guys that you can perform on your iPhone on iOS 13. These are like hidden features of iOS that you probably didn't even know that they existed and you didn't even know that you can do this stuff on your iPhone. So I hope you guys learned some new things on this video. Let's get started. Here are my really cool iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. Starting off with the spotlight search. So when you go to your spotlight and you search for something, it will show you all kinds of different results. It will show you like files that you have on your iPhone, emails. It will show you apps from the app store, your apps, websites, and all of that. Among them will also be Siri knowledge. Now that's pretty cool. So if you're just searching for something like, let's say here, I have searched for iPhone. If I tap right there, it will show me this interface right here and will show me the information that Siri knows about the iPhone. But what's cool about this is that it shows you all kind of details right here. And here you can see it says operating system. It shows also the country right here, the manufacturer, and you can actually tap on that. It will take you right back to another detailed page with more information about that, basically that section that you tap. So here we have Apple, if I tap right there, there, it will show me stuff for Apple. So what I can do here is just basically tap on any of these. So founded by Steve Jobs, tap right there, shows me information about Steve Jobs. Place of birth, San Francisco, tap right there, shows me information about San Francisco. So basically you can go ahead and infinitely just browse here and just learn all kind of cool things about anything that you have searched for and many more as well. On your iPhone, on the Photos app, you know that when you're editing a video, now you can also crop that video. So if I go to the crop section right here on this video, you can see that if I just tap right there, it will show me basically that bar that allows me to move on the video. So while I'm cropping the video, I can also take a look at the video and see basically just by tapping right there, see basically how I'm cropping it based because in some part of the videos, I might crop something that I don't want to do. So just go ahead and just swipe like this and you can move through the video and see how you're cropping it and which parts are you removing in like any second of the video. Now this one is pretty cool. When you go to your iMessage app and you tap on the camera right there, you know that you can take a picture and send it. And of course you will also have the filters right here. Now these are the filters that we basically get on the camera app and are just simple ones. But if you tap right there on that like little flower icon, you will get another filter button and this one has actually some pretty cool filters. You can see these amazing filters that you can add to your pictures and that's really, really awesome. These are like hidden filters that you can find only on the iMessage app. So you can see all these awesome filters. Now, of course, you can take pictures with this, even videos, all the stuff that, can, that you can do with the camera can be done with this as well. So basically it doesn't have like a save button right here, but if you just send this, I message this to yourself, then it will automatically save it on the camera roll of your device, or you can just send it basically to any number you want and then just go ahead, force touch on it and save it right here. So while you're on the Maps app, let's say you're taking a look at a city here, you will also have here the weather forecast and the air quality index for that city. Of course, if you have enabled this from the settings of the Maps app, while well, you can do that, just go to settings, go to Maps, and you will have their weather and air quality index as well. But what you can also do here is 3D touch on this to pop it up and see the weather forecast for that city. But what else you can do is just tap right there on the name of the city and you can quickly go ahead and add this to the weather app as easy as that. So while you're on the weather app, you of course have a bunch of cities here that you might have added. And what if you want to rearrange these? All you gotta do is just force touch on any of them and you can just move it anywhere you want on the list of the cities on the weather app. While you're editing text, on your notes, an email or iMessage, basically anywhere on iOS, you can quickly start selecting by just pointing at any of the rows of text that you want to select. So here, if I want to select there at the camera, I can just tap and hold right there and it will automatically select 
the last word as easy as that and then of course i can go ahead and move on to select any other text that i want so just tap and hold your finger at any row and it will automatically select the last word of that row also when you get this menu where you find all the different tools you will have these arrows that allow you to move on the menu but if you don't want to reach on them you just gotta just swipe like this swipe left or right to move right there on the menu now this feature i'm about to show you is hidden and it's new with ios 13.4 which if you're watching this video today you probably don't have it yet on your device just if you have the beta one but within three days in wednesday it will be available to the public so you will have ios 13.4 on your device so basically it's a pretty cool feature within safari so if you go to the settings of safari and you go to tabs right here you can go ahead and enable open links in background so you will have a new tab and in background so then when you go to safari you will have options here so if you 3d touch on a link then you will have the option to open it which will open this link basically right here in the front page or you can just tap right there open in background and it will open it on a new tab but you will still be on the current tab and that one will be opened in the background if you're recording the screen of your device of course you tap right there to start recording you know that you get like that red indicator right there on the status bar and once you're done you can tap right there to stop it but what if you don't like the recording that you just did you don't have to go to the photos app to delete it once you click stop right there it shows you a notification just drag that notification down and you will have the option here to view or to delete it directly from here when you go to the iMessage app, you will have, of course, like a bunch of files that someone has sent you, like links and pictures and all that. What if you want to take a quick look at all of them? All you got to do is just tap the search bar and right here it will show you all the links, all the photos that someone has sent you with iMessage. So if I tap right here on see all, it will show me all the pictures and videos that have been sent to me. Also, you will have another section right there for the screenshots. So if someone has sent you a screenshot, you will see it there. And right there at the top, you will also see the picture of the contact that has sent you that. And of course, you can also 3D touch on them to preview them like this. When you go to the Files app, you know that you can sort your files. You can do that simply by swiping down here. It will show you that like bar right there at the top that allows you to sort your files. So if I go ahead and sort let's say by size so you will have all kind of different sorts and you can do this trick with all of them so select basically sort by size you can see that now it shows me the biggest files at the beginning and going down to the smallest one but what if i want to basically sort them otherwise show the smallest sized files at the top what i can do here is just tap right there and tap again on size and now it will switch and will show me the smallest files at the top a very quick way to go to the settings of your keyboard. Normally you will have to open settings, go to general and then go to keyboard. But whenever you're on your keyboard, just tap on the dictation icon, force touch on it, tap dictation settings and it will take you right to the settings of your keyboard. When you're on your camera, you know that you have the zoom in and zoom out right here. And if you tap and hold there, it will show you like the scroll right here that allows you to zoom in and out with one finger. But if you don't want to just tap and hold there and then start zooming in and out what you can do is just directly start swiping here so if i want to zoom out i can just swipe right here and it will start immediately basically zooming in and out so just like that zoom in zoom out so just don't press on it just swipe swipe left or swipe right it will immediately sh show you that wheel that will allow you to do that when you're on the photos of your iPhone, you know that you can basically do this on anything on your iPhone. You tap at the status bar to go right back to the top. But what if you want to go to the bottom of the album? Just tap on the album right there and it will take you right back to the bottom. So as easy as that, tap right there and tap right here to go back to the bottom. While playing music on the music app, you can just tap on the name of the artist and you will get this menu right there that allows you to go to the artist 
or go to the album of the now playing of the, of the current playing song so if i go to artist it will show me everything from dmx here or i can just tap go to the album and go to the album of the current playing song while on the Maps app, you can use just one finger to zoom in and out. So what you can do is just double tap and then you basically you can go ahead and zoom in and out. So double tap like that, tap on the second one, don't release the finger and you can zoom in and out. One, two, zoom out, zoom in just like that. So the live photos on the iPhone are pretty cool, of course. If you take live photos on your iPhone, what you can do is whenever you open a live photo, just go ahead and swipe up on it. And it will show you these cool effects that you can apply to your photos. So you can see right here, that looks way different. This one is also quite a bit different, but you can see this pretty cool. So you will have four different effects here. We'll have the live one, then you have the loop, you have bounce, and you have long exposure as well. So as easy as that, you can apply them to your pictures. Now, of course, whenever you want to take it back to the stock form, just tap on live right there and you're good to go. So that is it for this video guys, these are my iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. A lot of them I found out just basically trying out stuff on my device. Hopefully you guys learned something new today, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.